This is one of my most favorite features of Magloft. You can actually add RSS feeds and other articles to your library, which will be downloaded and shown in your mobile apps as well. So for this task, we're going to add an RSS feed. And this can be typically from a WordPress blog or from other CMS systems. Many, many sites have a RSS feed that you can use. So the way we'll do it is we will click the Create button to open up the panel here. We will give our feed a title. So this is actually the Magloff blog. And if you don't have a RSS feed URL that you can use, go click here on the tutorial again, open the pop-up. There is a URL in the, in the right section that you can copy and paste, which is exactly what I've done. So I'll just paste in that URL. This is to the Magloff blog. You're free to use that. There's no, no worries there. So get your feed URL in there and then click the Create button. That will add the feed. And uh, from here, we can start to synchronize and add articles. So in order to synchronize and get articles added to your page here, you want to go into the feed that you just added, click this small eye icon. And then here you can see we have a synchronize button. So this will uh, let the Magloff crawlers go out and visit that feed and see what kind of articles that are there that we can import and bring into your Magloff system. So I'll click the synchronize button and now it's kind of working in the background. You won't see anything right here for now but you can go back to RSS feeds where we just came from. And then here you can see it's starting to add articles and you can just refresh your browser. It may be that when you go back here, there are no articles yet, but this is all working in the background. So just either browse the rest of the Maglov site and come back later or just sit and wait and then click the refresh button for the browser. And then you can see more and more articles are coming in. So this is really, really cool. These can get streamed straight to your mobile apps. This is definitely something that you want to play around with. And with that, I do believe we have now completed the task of adding an RSS feed. You now know how this works. Congratulations. Please go back to the dashboard and continue your streak of amazing tasks.